Well, hello to you. It looks like we're live. So, uh, uh, a very, very good day to you. And uh, welcome to the healing circle. And uh, what do we mean by healing? It doesn't mean curing, unfortunately. Healing means alleviating or ameliorating symptoms, soothing, and easing discomfort, easing pain. And uh, there are occasions when the cures have been affected through healing, but uh, we don't say that that's what's going to happen. None of us know actually what's going to happen, do we? But uh, we do what we can. My grandmother, Disswalt, used to say, if love could cure, we'd all be well. But uh, of course we know that as much as we love people and uh, when they're suffering, we would love them to be cured of their illnesses. It doesn't happen. But love is the key, of course, to healing because unless you can love unconditionally, uh, you can't be a healer because uh, you're, it means that you're actually sort of harbouring ill thoughts. So uh, we'll accept that we're all good people at heart and uh, that's what we want to do. We want to help everybody. So um, this is a way of helping that um, doesn't require any... Uh, first of all, it doesn't require any money. Um, it doesn't require any book learning or uh, any material uh, accompaniment at all. And um, I'm hoping that, uh, that those of you who are joining me on this journey this afternoon for the next half an hour, just under half an hour, I think, um, will be helping to ease others ailments, whether they're emotional or mental or physical, and for whatever reason that people are suffering, we can do something to help that. Of course, uh, those who are known to us, we can obviously uh, send out our thoughts directly uh, towards them, but uh, of course we know that the vast, the vast uh, swathe of humanity we, we don't know by name, but uh, we know that the Almighty does. So uh, the healing goes to wherever it's needed. Um, I'd, uh, I'd hope to see uh, some people's comments and so on, but um, we'll, go, we'll go regardless. Um, also what we'll do, uh, we'll do some meditation, which is going to be guided by... Uh, my helpers, guides in spirit, and uh, that will help us to attune our minds to a finer frequency. You know, every, everything in life is on a vibration, on a frequency. It holds us all together. Everybody understands that we're all made up of atomic particles, all vibrating at different rates. And uh, as amazing as it seems, that's the case. And those frequencies actually uh, are, um, when they're in tune, uh, can affect good healing. So uh, we try and attune ourselves to the highest frequency we can to remedy those difficulties and illnesses. So uh, the meditations that we get uh, during these gatherings are guided and so... Um, you know, I know that your guides and helpers, we all have those, uh, will be telling my guides and helpers what to, what to say and, and, and uh, how to prompt me. And I, will con and I will only relay what I'm told. And, that, and in that way, we all get to, to uh, be able to do a meditation that will best help us and help us to help everybody else and those that we, that we um, know that we want to deliver that healing to healing of course as I said doesn't mean cure but it does mean amelioration of symptoms whatever those symptoms are and uh, always to good effect and the other thing is that when we're giving healing 
what we understand is that we've received that healing because it has to channel through us and go out to others. And therefore, as it's coming through us, those healing vibrations, that frequency of healing actually is helping us as well. Um, there's a school of thought that, that says that it's the spirit within each of us that is uh, energized by this uh, this healing vibration and and it's that spirit within each of us which actually helps each one of us to repair itself and to to repair the the physical body that surrounds it so uh that's something you know that, that uh, is fairly obvious really if you think about it oh i would say that after the last uh, healing session that we did, that uh, hundreds of people have watched since. And the wonderful thing about this is that you can watch it without anybody knowing who you are. Um, you can, it's in private. Um, you can sit with friends or on your own. And in whatever condition of life you're in, you can participate. It's marvellous. And of course, what you can do then as well, um, this video, although it's live at the moment, uh, will remain uh, available. So you can always sort of have a look back and see and see what was said and, and perhaps do the meditation again, um, if you so wish. Now, as I said, um, it's guided meditation, which means I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where we'll be going. I wait until I'm told and then I follow the steps just like I would ask you to follow the steps that you are given because I know that that's the best way. I know that Cathy told me that after last the last uh, healing circle we did, um, she had already gone off to a beach somewhere before she realised that that wasn't where we were going. <laughs> and she sort of quickly, quickly, um, you know, jumped on board uh, our our lighted globe and, and, and came with us to where we were going, which was certainly never like a beach. Uh, but who knows where we'll go this, this time. <laughs> maybe she'll get her wish and maybe she'll, maybe she'll get to the beach. Maybe we'll all get to the beach. We'll have to see where we go, won't we? The reason that we do that meditation too is to help ourselves to attune our minds to the finer frequency, that finer vibration that exists in the spirit dimensions. We live in a rather gross material dimension. Uh, it's been described as sort of very foggy and murky by those who live in the higher realms of light. And I've no doubt they're absolutely, tr they're absolutely correct in that. And uh, what we have to do is try and clamber our way out of it while we're still in it. And uh, the best way to do that is through our own minds. Our brain and our mind is two separate things, you know. Our brain is of the physical. There's an etheric duplicate of that brain, which actually engenders our mind. And uh, that is different again. So you see, our mind is something that we control within our spirit. And that spirit outside of ourselves those uh, guides and helpers that we refer to, uh, they're able to impress their thoughts on, on us in that way. So we have to attune our minds uh, to receive that input. And one of the, the best and most simple ways of, of uh, all of us of, uh, achieving that is to uh, do a meditation. We can do a little meditation every morning if we like or every evening any time really, uh, once a day if you wish, um, less if you can't manage, but it really is very beneficial and it's healing in itself actually. So um, we'll, we'll start a meditation now I think, which is about right, and um, we'll see where uh, our guides take us. And uh, this will only be for a few minutes. But it transcends the everyday and ordinary. So it takes us out of ourselves. That in itself can be very beneficial. It's, uh, it's like having a soothing drink of water or um, a, a pleasant afternoon somewhere. It, it's just wonderful. So 
and um, all we have to do is find ourselves a quiet space and I do apologize for the last time uh, we were having a meditation and, and we had a caller on the door and uh, some people found it a little bit disconcerting but I always ask for protection before we go into the meditation into that meditative state and uh, we do that by ordinary prayer if you want to call it that supplication and affirmation and so we say dear lord be close to us this time we ask you to look after us as we commence our meditation we try to do the best we can we try to do what we can for our fellow human beings and our fellow creatures on this earth we ask you to give us protection in love, light and truth. Amen. There. So the narcissist should not get hold of us, whatever happens. Now they, we're going to ask them to give us a meditation. And uh, I hope that you enjoy this. Close your eyes. Try and relax. Some gentle, regular breathing. Breathe in and out a couple of times. There. Let the cares and worries of the day go away from you. Imagine, if you will, a shaft of light appears in front of you. It's like a lift shaft made of light. And you walk into it. Walk inside that shaft of light. When you walk inside, you find it's like a lift, the interior of a lift, one of those very old-fashioned lifts with seats and things and mirrors, beautiful, sort of amber-coloured. And there you are in this lift. You feel yourself going upwards, gently upwards. And then you feel that you come to a stop. And as the door opens in that shaft of light, you step out onto a beautiful scene, country scene, grass, and there's a little river, a little stream running along. There's a pathway alongside of that, lots of grass and trees, and just beautiful, some flowers. It's very lovely. You walk along there. We'll walk along. Uh, a little way further on, we can see there's a bench under a tree. And uh, we'll walk along. Sit down on that bench. Sit under the shade of the tree. And uh, as we look across the stream, we can see a little cottage. And a uh, lovely scene going on there. Children playing, animals and just lovely, just like one of those old fashioned movies that we see. We're sitting on that bench quietly. And then we're going to ask for somebody that we know is in the realms of spirit that we've loved and lost to come and speak to us on that bench. Sit there quietly and patiently until we feel the presence that person that we would most like to speak with, most like to meet up with. Someone should come along and sit next to you. Feel the warmth of love from that spirit person, that individual in spirit who loves you as you love them, who's come to let you know that they still are in life in a different dimension, 
that's all. Now it could be time for you to leave. So take your leave. Feeling warm and loved. And now we're going to walk back towards that lift, that shaft of light. And stroll back. The loved person you've met will be going back to join their loved ones who are on the other side of life to continue what they were doing. They will have different jobs to do as we walk back along the pathway by the stream and that lovely grass and scenery. We see the shaft of light and the doors open. We walk into that shaft of light, back into the lift, and there's mirrors and benches and everything. The doors close. We feel ourselves being gently, gently lowered. The lift, the lift's gently going down. Gently, gently. You're feeling refreshed and loved and warmth. And then we know that it's got back down to the ground again. And the doors open and we step outside, back into the room that we started out in. And as we sit down, or lie down again, and see the shaft of light disappear, fade away. We open our eyes a little wiggle of our fingers and toes if you have them a little you know a little jiggle of our bodies here we are again feel the weight of our body and uh, god bless you i hope that you enjoyed that now i didn't say to you but what you should have had is a little drop of water by you have a little drop of water hope you enjoyed that. It's, uh, it's quite a trip. As I say, I didn't know where we were going or what we were doing and uh, I certainly met somebody. I didn't see them as a person, but I knew that they were there, their presence. Um, I hope that you, you enjoyed that experience and that it's made you feel uh, comfortable. The other thing is you see that uh, you know that that spirit world is really just a, just that dimension away and we have got access to it and they have they certainly have access to us which is more to the point isn't it and uh, when it comes to healing you see it's that vibration it's that uh, attunement to those spirit dimensions that you really need to to uh, to access so what we can do now is to use that same feeling to invoke healing to invoke an alleviation of symptoms and uh, a blessing to those that we know by name we say to our guides and helpers, would they please uh, come close to those we love at this time and give them some healing that they so badly need. And then we say at their names, of course, uh, we give out our love and, uh, and they get on with the rest of it for us. It's wonderful. The fact is it works. And uh, even people who don't know that they're receiving healing can feel better. And if you're fortunate enough to speak with them, and you say, how are you feeling today? And they say, do you know what, I feel a bit better. 
And that's the best we can really hope for, isn't it? That people feel better as a result of our ministrations. Our ministrations, because, you know, those who love us in the realms of spirit need our physicality in order to deliver physical results down here. That's the point of it. Jesus was a great healer. He understood that touch was very important. You know, there was somebody, uh, a woman, who had obviously endometriosis uh, issue, as they called it in the Bible, um, for a long time, for years. And she was so ill with it, you can imagine, you know, anemia and everything. And uh, she knew that Jesus was there giving healing and so on. And his reputation as a healer. And she touched the hem of his, of his garment. And because he was so tuned in to those vibrations, he knew that somebody had received some healing. And he turned around and he blessed her. And she was cured. Now... Cures have been affected and cures have happened, but they're rare. That's why they're called miracles. But certainly um, those kinds of illnesses can be helped. And especially in this day and age, you know, with the use of modern science and modern, modern medicine, uh, we can ask that extra benefit of spiritual healing, healing from the spirit dimensions to be added to the uh, earthly medicine, earthly medication that people are taking. I myself have to take medications, as I'm sure you do too, many of you. And um, what we can do is send out our thoughts when we take those medications and uh, speak to our guides and helpers and say, I oh, thank you very much indeed for giving some extra help to me uh, of a spiritual dimension spiritual variety as I take this earthly medicine and it really does help it really helps and uh, by the same token you know if there if there are uh, surgeons performing surgery uh, nurses performing air duties injections all this sort of thing and, and some rather mucky things procedures ask for help ask for help and you get it you absolutely get it on that special vibration, on that attunement level. What can I say to you? I've been doing this for years, so uh, I still try not to take it for granted that, that that happens, that you can actually lift yourself up, put yourself into that meditation state of mind where you imagine something very nice imagine yourself somewhere really nice and then you ask for the help those that those two steps actually uh, are very efficacious so um, you know it sounds it sounds extraordinary doesn't it and you'd hope that everybody would do it and that's one of the reasons why I'm doing these uh, I've done so many videos that are on my YouTube channel um, Lynn Gibdiswart, if you want to access them, um, lots and lots of meditations and, and development things, and, you know, just so that more and more people can can access all of this. It's, it's not something that's just for one person or two people. This is for everybody. This is for the whole of humanity. And uh, it, it behoves us all to try and spread the word. So here I am, chantering on. And uh, it's so nice to, to uh, see that some people are, are watching and tuning in. I've no idea what the time is now, um, as she looks, Kevin, dear. Uh, the time is going on, rather. But um, I hope that you've enjoyed it today. Um, there's lots and lots and lots that we could talk about. And, of course, um, over the years, <laughs> I've tutored many, many healing circles and healing sessions and, you know, call it what you like, spiritual healing, faith healing, spiritual healing. It's, it all comes from the one source, you know. But uh, it, we have to try and help others. We have to do that. 
and uh, this is the finest way I've found of doing it. And while we do that for other people and, and animals too, let's say, um, we get that healing for ourselves. And I'm hoping very much that you experience something like that. I know that I do. You know, I wouldn't be able to do it otherwise. Um, it doesn't matter, and, and especially perhaps if you're feeling a bit rough and a bit ill and a bit tired and you're achy and painy and everything and oh, the world's getting you down roughly with one thing and another and perhaps you have family troubles, money troubles, you know, all the things that beset us down on this on this worldly life of ours. Doesn't matter, put it aside if it's just for 10 minutes or 15 minutes a day and tune yourself into those spirit dimensions. Ask for healing for yourself. Ask for healing for others, you know. And don't forget that little prayer that you say before you start all that, so that you're elevating yourself. You elevate your own spirit in order to come into contact with that finer spirit dimension where all those good people live who've been down here. I won't go into the thing that sometimes people haven't been here, but uh, those that have lived here and have passed on to the spirit realms who 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 are there and wanting to help us to live our lives a better way and to feel better. It's just marvellous, isn't it? So I hope that you're feeling better now. Whatever was going on with you, I was feeling really tired because I'd been out this morning, done different things, had to try and walk with my this walker thingy I've got. And, uh, you know, it's really sort of like killing me. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's just one of those things. Um, and yet, you know, you're still given the ability to rise above your situation and to help other people's situations. And that makes you feel better. So, uh, you know, I'm not one of these psychological types, by the way. I believe what I believe. I believe in the Great Spirit. I believe that we were all created. I believe that we are who we are because God made us that way. And when I say God, I mean the Great Spirit and of which we are all a part. And uh, all of humanity, all of this world is a part of that Great Spirit. And I believe very much that uh, we are all able to access the benefits of uh, that great spirit and uh, whether we go through uh, an accepted prophet like Yeshua uh, or uh, various Buddhas or indeed uh, people like Sai Baba uh, and uh, various wonderful teachers and prophets that walk this earth they're all over there, you know, on the other side of life now, all wanting to help us. Wow. Wow. What a wonderful thing. I was talking to somebody this morning who said that they had uh, Jehovah's Witnesses on the door. And, you know, I quite understand, you know, that, that they didn't want uh, one person's or their view of life uh, forced on them. But, of course, it's their, it's their mission, isn't it? And uh, some people have a mission in life to convert other people to their way of thinking. And especially when, when they're sort of like, they've got their sort of rules and regulations too. But, uh, you know, spiritualist healing isn't like that. And uh, we're not trying to convert anybody to anything, really. If you like, though, we're trying to convert people to feeling better. So my mission in life, to, is to make people feel better. When I first came into this way of life, spiritualism that is, I attended the Arthur Findlay College and I was doing some studies and uh, certificates and so on. And uh, I'll never forget that I, I rather grandly wrote that, that at the end of my uh, one of my uh, uh, stints, a, a test that I'd been given, I wrote, when they wanted to know what I was going to do with what I'd learned, I said, I want to bring more light into the world. And uh, 
that's a truth and it's never wavered and I think if we all try to bring more light into the world it would be really good and I see here that somebody called Middleton is watching now a Karen Middleton who was one of my students back in the day in Wimbledon Spiritualist Church and she became a very very fine medium and healer and uh, that's something that I am proud of you know, they say pride is one of the seven deadly sins, but I think if, if you're proud of some other person's achievements, I don't think that counts. Now, I'm proud of her achievements. Now, I'm proud of Kathy's achievements. Kathy, poor Kathy, she was stuck with this spiritualism thing. She became a wonderful healer, physical medium, and, uh, you know, for all that she mucks about, um, she does a lot for others. And she's an excellent healer. And, uh, you know, so many people that I have had the pleasure of teaching over the years have become excellent, excellent healers and mediums. And I'm so pleased and proud of that. So I hope that you've been uh, uplifted a bit today. And uh, if you missed any of this and you want to see the rest of it, then I believe it just stays on uh, Facebook as a video um, which I download by the way and then I put on my YouTube channel so uh, the people who uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel which of course is free um, they also uh, if they're not on the Facebook uh, a lot of people aren't now um, they can actually access it on there so yes I wish you all a healed day I hope that you've enjoyed the meditation. I I, I did. Um, I hope that you met somebody on that bench or you were aware of somebody that you loved who's gone over because uh, that's something very, very hard to take, isn't it? For both hu our human uh, bereavements and our animals who, who have to leave us to go over there. And uh, to know that they're all, all right, that they all continue their existence in a spirit dimensions, uh, that's a wonderful comfort because they are happy over there. They have no pain. They are reunited with their own family and friends from before. Who, well, of course, in the case of family, they're our family too. And, uh, you know, all those things. So uh, hopefully you'll feel a bit better than you did before you decided you'd have a look at what I was going on about today. <laughs> well, lots of love to you. And uh, I wish you the very best. And now, the next thing we have to do is close ourselves down. Because we can't be, you know, off with the fairies all the time, you know. So we have to m mind our business down here. So we'll say a closed down prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for allowing our loved ones to come close to us at this time and our animals too who are over with you in the heavenly realms. We ask you to look after us as we say we are finished doing this healing for the time being. And uh, although of course we, we send out our, our thoughts and hopes for healing for others, uh, not like we do here, and uh, we're going to close down all our psychic faculties and just have the ones that we need to go about our daily business. Dear Lord, look after us and our loved ones at this time. Amen. Then, so we should all be fine now and uh, ready for the next bit of whatever we're going to be doing this afternoon or whatever time it is with you. So, of course, we do have friends all over the world. And we will, you know, I mean, the hundreds of people that have watched since the last one I did, uh, that could have been at any time in the day or night. And, and the thing is, that if you're not too well, you're often awake in the middle of the night, wondering what to do next. Well, why not listen to what Lynn has to say on this one? And uh, hopefully you'll fall asleep listening. <laughs> God bless you and yours. And, uh, oh, I've seen some comments now. And, ah, uh, oh, oh, that's wonderful. Oh, yes, and some some of my circle members too. 
actual circle members that is not virtual ones and uh, I'm frightened to sort of actually touch the screen so I just see you know what, what's uh, going on afterwards every time I touch every time I touch my phone it seems to go off or something awful happens so uh, I'd rather not do that if you don't mind so I'll say uh, be of good cheer whatever uh, whatever ails you whatever's going on in your life just have that trust and hope in the Lord that everything will be well. And uh, I'll finish this now and uh, I will give another healing, a half, healing half hour, a bit like Tony Hancock, the old comedian, bless him, Hancock's half hour. This will be the healing half hour. So uh, as usual, I think it's, um, it's uh, over around just by a few minutes, but Spirit are pretty good on time, by the way. They know what they're doing, even when we don't. Thank goodness. Thank God. Bye for now. Bye.